Hey, my name is Jobby, and today we'll be drawing Tommy Wiseau. For no particular reason, but you'll soon find out. And while we wait for YouTube to receive my content, I'm just going to switch the scene here. And we're going to get right into it. So, never mind the proportions of the canvas here. Uh... That is uh, that is none of your concern. So let's let's draw Tommy Wiseau. I gotta throw up a picture of him first. Here we go. Excellent. All right. So the picture that I'll be drawing is of that face that you might have seen at the very beginning. And let me just drag it on for you. Bam. Famous Tommy Wiseau poster. Anyone here a fan of the room? All right. Here we go. How we doing, everyone? I see you guys just coming into the chat. I know sometimes YouTube takes a while for, uh, you know, to... And uh, Photoshop might have just crashed. How you doing, everybody? Yep, Photoshop crashed. <laughs> Give me a second here. Let me, don't send that. Then let me open that up again. All right. And if you guys don't know who uh, Tommy Wiseau is, I'm also going to take off my glasses because I'm going to need my eyes to properly color and draw and shit. But if anyone doesn't know who Tommy Wiseau is, he is a, a great artist, an excellent filmmaker, and he is known for a movie called The Room. And if you guys haven't seen The Room, I... I mean, I, I don't know if I could recommend it. I could recommend it, actually. <laughs> I could recommend it. And if you if you got like a bunch of friends, maybe a few drinks, it's one of the best bad movies of all time. But even then, watching it over and over again, I, I love it every time I see it. And it's not out of, you know, any uh, denigration or any disrespect to the, the brilliant mind behind it. It's, it's really out of respect. I, you know, you've got to respect Tommy Wiseau's passion. Wow, this is <laughs> this is a bit weird to say about the room, isn't it? It's not something you you hear often. All right, so I'm not gonna be drawing on the normal canvas size. Let's see. I'll be drawing in these dimensions for one reason or another, and that will you'll find out why I'm drawing in these dimensions uh, this week. If you stay tuned for another drawing stream that I'll be doing on the main channel. Then you'll find out what I'm doing here tonight. Also, for any of you uh, coming in, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. Also, we'll be, um, depending on how things go tonight, I won't be taking any drawing requests. So, just letting you know in advance. Also, if uh, if you would like, feel free to support the chat through the, uh, support the chat, support the stream through the super chat. I will be reading your comments and questions throughout the stream. And now that I have this set up, hopefully Photoshop does not crash on me yet again. I'll be starting off with a pink sketch pencil. And as I said before, I'll be drawing this famous poster. Also, I've asked this several times, but how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? What's up, Kenneth? What's up, uh, Dante? CJ the Great, communism is uh, no good. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Um, and what do we, uh, oh no, Stuart, Stuart Bovey says he's tired, but, uh, you know, stay up a little later than usual and you'll be able to see me do a caricature of Tommy Wiseau and let me pull up that face for myself. There we go. All right, let's get to it. I like drawing faces, you know, I like drawing <laughs> What a story, Jobby. That's right, DD. Yeah, I've gotten. I'm doing a room-related thing, and I haven't even quoted a Tommy yet. What the hell? Oh hi, ma. Oh hi, chat. <laughs> oh, you're so. Oh. I'm so lucky to have you as my best friend, and I love Lisa so much. All right, so. Let's not start with a circle. That's a little bit expected, right? Any guesses, by the way, from the chat? 
any guesses from the chat why am I drawing Tommy Wiseau's face tonight? And I bet you won't know. <laughs> I bet you won't know the answer. But like I said, stay tuned on the main channel when I do a drawing stream with my friends where we'll also be drawing Tommy Wiseau. And that should happen on Wednesday, so stay tuned on the main channel for that. And we will be... You'll know why I'm drawing Tommy tonight. I don't know. I don't know if... I don't know if one of you can get it, but if you get it, uh, then I will not read the chat because I want this to be a surprise. <laughs> I'll give you little nuggets. I'll give you little nuggets of information right now. It's a room. It's a room-related project that me and the friend that you might all know have been working on for a while, and we are finally going to, you know. On Wednesday, just stay tuned on Wednesday. I don't want to give away too much, but it's a it's a room related project. I'm not working with Tommy Wiseau in any capacity. I wish I was, but hopefully it'd be something that he'd enjoy. Also, it's uh, uh, hmm, yeah. Uh, I don't see I don't see any guesses. I, I mean I don't see any correct guesses, which is good, because I don't want you to know yet. But I, you know, I just thought it'd be a fun question to ask. Yeah, I want this to... I actually want this face to be as uh, graphic, I suppose, as possible. Not graphic in the bloody way. Hey, thanks for the super chat. Lord Faust. Oh, thank you for 1999. Hey, Jobby, here's the three years I've stuck with your awesome content. I love everything you do. Keep being awesome and don't forget us after all. If I die in this world, who will know something jobby? Hey, nice little last second word switch there. Thank you very much, Lord Faust. And I'm glad that you are here to see this. Yeah, but as I said, man, um, if you're curious about what's going on, stay tuned for Wednesday. I'm very excited. I'm super excited for this. You, you can't even, you don't even know how excited I am, man, to finally be able to reveal something that me and a friend had been working on for a while so i just need to get this art right i don't want it to be too unflattering either you guys uh did you guys also notice if any of you watched my uh, Shin Godzilla review, SH Monster or Shin Godzilla review? You guys noticed that there were a few room references in, in there? I, I love this movie, man. <laughs> I was a bit obsessed with it for a while, and I, I actually... Actually, uh, hands in the chat, or, you know, just let me know right now. How, how many of you have actually seen the room? And, you know, know the... The deep lore of Tommy Wiseau and even and even uh, the Disaster Artist. Anyone seen the room? Anyone seen the Disaster Artist? Let me know right now. So I'm just getting in a rough sketch right here. Stuart Bovey uh, says, "Watched it earlier this year. What did you think about it? Did you <laughs> did you see the hype? Did you get the hype, or uh, was it not for you? Because it ain't for everybody. I'll tell you that now. But it was." For me, that's for sure. All right, I don't want to be too um, what? Sh how should I say? Too detailed with this, so I shouldn't be too. Oop. Ah, that's okay. It's a rough sketch anyway. I accidentally drew directly on the background layer instead of making a sketch layer, but not really a big deal. It's a rough sketch. Just kind of sculpting it as I go along. I've seen the room. CJ the Great says I've seen the room like five times. With uh, was it? seen the room like five times. The first time that I watched it, I was high with a bunch of friends. It's one of the best ways to watch that movie, honestly. <laughs> I wasn't high when I first saw it, but I was very drunk, and I saw it in a theater. Uh, it was a screening of the room, and that was oh man, it was one of it was a really fun experience. It was so fun, man. But as I said before, it's like, you know, you you at first you kind of uh first you start watching it to laugh at it, but then 
If you watch it enough times, you start to actually love it. <laughs> and that's, that's how I feel about it. And then, you know, knowing like the behind the, the scenes stuff. It gets super interesting. I actually kind of like the idea of making this like a handsome Tommy Wiseau. Because whenever, whenever people draw Tommy Wiseau, they always draw him like this fucking monstrosity. And he's, he's really not that bad. He just looks a little tired is all. So, so I think it'd be a funny thing if I made this picture pretty boy Tommy. But still recognizable as Tommy Wiseau. That's the, that's the important thing. What do you guys think about that? Hey, Jules, Zabel, Zab, Jules Zepelli, thank you for 4 dollars Hey, Jobby, can't stay due to morning classes tomorrow, but wanted to drop a little something, something. Looking forward to your next project. Thank you very much, Jules. And if you want to see what I am teasing tonight, check, stay tuned on Wednesday. I'll be streaming a drawing thing on the main channel on Wednesday. Check. Set your calendars, man. Probably around the same time as I'm streaming now, so, you know, late night stream. Hope you guys are awake for that because, God, I will be. That's for sure. Very excited. Very excited. Yeah, so I, th I guess you guys like the idea of a handsome Tommy. I think, you know, I I'm only drawing. I'm, only, I'm like figuring out how I want the picture to go, and I do like the idea of having a handsome Tommy Wiseau, and I, yeah. I think it's I think it would be fun. There you go. Not Irishman, I'll be clocking out excited over New York Comic Con. Have fun for that, man. When is that anyway? But have fun. Have fun, man. Tommy is very nice. Okay, Buff. See you later. Thanks for stopping by a little bit. Uh, Sheep Gamer, how's it going? <laughs> I mean, oh, hi, Sheep Gamer. <laughs> you look so sexy, Lisa. I don't know, depending on how depending on how the sketch goes, I might want to do like a, another draft of this face. Oh, but even then, this one's not, not coming out bad at all, actually. I don't know, what do you guys say? Let's see. You're my favorite customer, Hobby. You're my favorite customer, not Irish man. Thank you very much. Emma Curtin, thank you for $2. We need a jobby fandom name that's for you guys to figure out i'm not gonna call you anything in particular i'm just gonna call you guys or uh buddy baby you know oh, there we go actually i'm gonna turn on the air it's kind of hot in here Hope that won't affect the audio a bit. That's fine. It's fine. Audio, uh, air, air conditioning, uh, air conditioning does make some noise, but it's worth it for me to keep going for at least two hours and thirty minutes. That's how long my streams usually last. So, jo <laughs> you know what? Unagi roll joblins is not bad. I kind of like joblins. You know, like goblins, joblins. Degenerates, pretty straightforward to the point. <laughs> it's not really smiling in this original picture, though. He's kind of doing like a... He's got like that puckered lip look, but he's not really smiling. I do like how I'm doing the eyes, though. 
If anything, it might look more like Tommy if I just colored it real quick, huh? But yeah, man, I, I, I like the idea of Handsome Tommy. I'm glad you guys do too. So... Oh, also, before I move on, I should flip my canvas. <laughs> my fellow Omar! <laughs> are, <laughs> Hold on, are you, are you suggesting that you guys will be called the Omars? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that would be funny. Omar would, would get tired of that really quickly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, I actually got his face shape symmetrical. His eyes are obviously asymmetrical as they are in the original image. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, he's got one eye like that, one eye like that. I like the eyelid coming on like that. Okay. Let's see. Level one scrub, your name's Omar? You're so good, Omar. Nice. Also, Omar is more relevant to this uh, to the stream than you guys uh, even know. It's another clue to what we, we might be doing on Wednesday. So, there you go, guys. Tell your friends, maybe, you know, you can make a guessing game out of it. What is Jobby going to reveal that's room-related on Wednesday? And what Omar's involved? What the hell? What is that? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, I, I think... Yeah, let me flip my canvas again. Hey, can, can someone tell uh, te Artiste to watch my MP44 review? Because <laughs> it seems like he, has, he didn't see that. Also, what'd you guys think of my toy review, right? It's been a while. I'm glad to be back. And I will be back, uh, you know, a little more, a little more than... Uh, currently so you know thank you thank you very much for uh, enjoying my toy review that i posted last week and if you didn't see it go check it out man i review a transformers masterpiece optimus prime and it's uh it was a bit pricey so i think i'm gonna start doing lines now actually also let me shrink this a little bit and not to confuse the senses i will fill this in also, thank you, Emma, for another $2. My top two are Joblins and Jobbydom. Well, what do you guys think about that? You know, I, I, could, I could go either way, man. I could go either way. Thanks, guys. Oh, Tart the Great, the review was worth the wait. I, I appreciate the sentiment, man. Thank you. All right, so I want his face to be blown up like that, but I do want room. <laughs> I want the room at the bottom here for some text and yeah and, and at the top as well so I think this should be fine and I'm gonna put this for further Joe Mars whoa Owen Graham that's a that's a big brain word Joe Mar that's our ship name <laughs> That's our ship name. <laughs> Holy shit. I like Jomar. That's fucking funny. <laughs> oh man, I, I even downloaded the room font for this occasion. Here it is. I'm gonna blow that up real quick. Let's do the room. Just... Gotta expand, gotta expand. Here we go. Bam, 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 b
All right. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Let me just do another test. Oh, that works out very nicely. That works out very nicely. Alright, let me just get rid of that real quick before you guys can think about what that might mean. And let me do some line art here. Let me... <coughs> Excuse me. Let's expand this a little bit so then when I shrink it, all of the mistakes will be gone. So let me save real quick. Oh, let me save as... Or the dialog box will pop up, so go to pictures. Let's go to hmm. Hold on. Let me find a location to save this shit. Yeah, pictures and we'll do <coughs> red dress cover art. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Now I'm going to start doing some line art here. And before I get confused, let me just rename this sketch layer. This is BG. And this is lines. Yeah. Not bad for a first pass, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could do like a few more drafts of that, but I, I already like how that looks. So let's see. Let's see. Hey, Thirsty for Chicken, how you doing, man? He just says, nice to see you. It's nice to see you too, Thirsty for Chicken. How you doing? Yo, Omar's in the chat. <laughs> Omar's in the chat. How you doing, Omar? <laughs> he, Omar says, yes, people only seem to know one name. One name that starts with the letter O, and it's Oscar. <laughs> no one talks about Omar. Come on, man. Oh, hi, Omar. <laughs> Oh, it's so good to see Omar. Oh, 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 oh Omar. <laughs> Omar, I'm so glad you're my best friend. And you're so smart, Omar. You're very smart, Omar. <laughs> you're tearing me apart, Lisa. That's right, dirt pules. Bromar. That's a very good one, and Panera 97, Bromar. I'm sure he'll like that a lot. <laughs> All right, uh, hmm, thinking right now. Maybe I should not go with the, I'll go with the happy HP, why the hell not? Just checking the length. Maybe I could go a li little bit thicker with my line. Let's go 50. Too thick? Nah, I think that's good, man. Hell yeah. Alright. Boom. Boom. So, if you guys are still wondering about the mystery of this room related project I'll give you a little more nuggets here and there I don't want to reveal it completely but I just want to you know keep the tease alive right I uh <clears throat> Wednesday what you know what I'm plugging for Wednesday is that I'm gonna bring a bunch of friends and we're gonna draw our own takes of Tommy Wiseau so tonight you'll be seeing my take on Tommy but uh, on Wednesday on the main channel, mind you, I want a lot of people to see what we have in mind, what we have in store. Uh, we'll we'll f share everyone else's take on Tommy Wiseau. So, so so so, 
you know, stay tuned for that, man. Stay tuned for that. I'm very excited. And I'm sure Omar's excited as well, right, Omar? <laughs> Uh, Thirsty for Chicken says, I'm doing great, man. I have to say, based on what you said the other day, I was a little more interested in how the review turned out, but I was happy to see it still had all the humor I come to expect. That's right. You know, I said I was going to change direction, but as I said before, I'm still keeping my humor. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it. And Omar says, yes, yes. We are very excited for what's coming on Wednesday. God damn, you don't know how excited we are. We've... Uh, it's not that we've been working on it for a while. I mean, it did take a while for us to complete what we did. But we've been sitting on it for a long time. And we're finally going to throw it out there on Wednesday. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. I'm sure I'm sure some of you, at least some of you will. <laughs> but, you know, you got to expect it from the Internet. The people on the Internet will always find something to hate. But I, I got to be honest. I, I, don't, I don't know how someone could hate this. I don't know how someone could hate what we have in mind. <laughs> oh, I'm being a little cocky now. All right, I don't have to draw his hair just yet. I can save that for... I could do that. Yeah, 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 yeah that's good. Do that. Maybe do that. Thought I saw a bug on my side. That's okay. I'm, I'm still alive. Lollymaster69, this is the first jobby stream I caught, but it's goddamn 12 a.m. here. Sorry, man. I tend to stream a little bit late. You'll, uh, you'll find that out about me. It's uh, 9.30 for me right now, so I stream mostly around 9 p.m. Uh, Mondays and Thursdays, but Wednesdays, more often than not, I also stream on Wednesdays with friends or friend. So... There you go. I'm just going to fix the roundness of this chin here. There we go. Also, now that I think about it, I don't think the lines are going to matter that much in the end because I kind of want to do this without line work. But line work, you know, helps with the coloring and all that stuff. So might as well make it as clean as possible. Let's see. Hey, thanks for letting me know. Uh, yeah, Lord Vaust, thanks for letting me know that I missed two super chats. Let me take a look here. Let's see. Strider One Trigger, thank you very much for four ninety nine. Hey, Jobby, I got the Make Toys Galaxy Meteor from Big Bad Toy Store a week ago, but forgot to use your link, so I'm dropping you some cash. Love your art. Keep it up. Thank you very much, Strider One Trigger. That's an excellent figure, by the way. Um, Lord Vaust, thank you very much for another four ninety nine. With all these donations, you might be able to afford that Nintendo Switch. I already have one. I, I'm assuming, Lord Vaust, that you missed my multiple uh, Smash streams a long time ago. So, <laughs> yeah, I already, I already have a Switch, and I've had it for at least uh, a, almost a year now. So. And Mr. Smiles 98, thank you for $10. I remember the first time I saw The Room, it was both the funniest and most awkward experience whilst watching a movie. Definitely top 10. I have to agree with you there. For me, though, it wasn't uh, so much awkward, but it was hilarious. I was drunk. I was in a movie theater. People, like, I went to one of those, you know, classic room screenings. Like the spoons, whenever a spoon comes on screen, the whole thing, man. It was awesome. Yeah, there, there should be some lines here. All right, under the nose. Maybe go like that. Ah, that that line could be thinner, actually. Let me check. Let's do not 25. Let's we'll do like 35. There we go. All right. Alex says, uh, after all these years of seeing me the memes, I still haven't seen The Room. Well, you better get on it, man. 
It's it's a great movie. And I think you're going to enjoy what I have in store for you on Wednesday a little more if you have seen The Room. So, just letting you know now. Yet another clue about what, what we might be doing. I actually want someone to guess it. I want someone to guess it, like, actually... Yeah, I, w I wonder. I wonder if there's anyone in the chat that, that, that can't guess it accurately. What am I doing on Wednesday? Or what am I revealing on Wednesday? Uh, so, I want this nose. I'm, like, working maybe a little too hard on this nose. I don't know. Being a little bit nosy. <laughs> hey. There we go. Then, boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Emma Curtin, thank you for $2. Can I officially declare us the Joblins? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. If you guys want to be the Joblins, you go ahead, man. And I will gladly call you the Joblins. I, I, I don't mind that name at all. It's not the worst I've heard. Uh, level 1 Scrub, thank you very much for $10. Uh, at As ASAP Taco says... Hey, Jobby, you inspired me to collect figures. I've always been too nervous to do so, and watching your videos made me finally make my decision uh, to make my decision to make my wallet cry every month. It's... It might make your wallet cry every month, but it is fun, isn't it? Man. Speaking... Oh, hold on. Benham says jobsters. I kind of like that. You know, people call me jobster all the time, but... uh. Uh, Jobster as a fan, a uh, fandom name. That's not bad at all. Well, speaking of, what the hell? What, what was my thought? Speaking of making my wallet cry every month, I want to put out officially my final word on the Haslab Unicron because people seem to ask me about that every stream. Am I getting the Haslab Unicron? Am I backing Hasbro's Unicron figure? That's five hundred bucks. And my, uh, my final word on the matter is no. I will not be doing that. I will not be doing that uh, for several reasons. One of them being, well, it's $500. I don't have it in my heart or my wallet to spend another 500 bucks. Also, it's, it goes back to that Back Lives Matter again. You know, if you guys watched my MP44 review, Back Lives Matter. And that, uh, that figure does not care. That figure does not care. Also, final reason. Zeta Toys Core Star might be still happening. So I'm going to save my, sh my shekels for that figure. Because Zeta Toys Core Star, after looking into it, it's even more perfect than I would have ever wanted. It's the, it's the quintessential... No pun intended. Quintesson. Quintessential uni G1 Unicron figure that I've ever seen. And I'm very excited for the prospect of that getting released so that's my final word on that never ask me again <laughs> hashtag back lives ladder that's right owen graham hashtag back lives matter let's see Lord Vaust asks, are future reviews going to be fan mail catch-up? Uh, eventually. But future reviews throughout the year? No. Throughout the year, uh, throughout the rest of the year, there will be uh, majority sponsored videos. You know, for Big Bad Toy Store and or anyone else. Uh, so, there you go. But eventually, yes, I will have to catch up with the P.O. Box uh, figures sooner or later. Also, um, I'm postponing the fail box that I missed last month to the end of this month. Because my idea was that this Wednesday, as I said before, on the main channel, I will be doing a drawing stream where me and my friends will be drawing more Tommy Wiseau. And then, you know, releasing this mystery project that I keep teasing. Uh, also, uh, yeah. That's a non toy re that's a non toy review thing on the main toy review channel. So to make it make up for that, I want to do a toy review this Saturday. And it's going to be like a quickie. You know how YMS, you guys watch YMS? 
Your Movie Sucks. He does quickie reviews. I'm going to do a quickie review on a certain figure. So I don't want to spoil that either. If anything, you could call that the return of Jobby the Slob. Or Slobby the Hong might be a better name for that series, right? So there you go. There you go. That's my plan for, t for this week. Oh, so Super Chats. Here we go. Stuart Bovey, thank you for $10. Hey, Jobby, started to get into figure collecting and wondering what stands you'd recommend, aside from the Bandit Imagination Zack 5 stand. Keep up the great work. Always looking forward to every review. Thank you very much. Um, figure stands, huh? That's not the Bandai Tamashi Nation Zack 5 stand? There's not really any that I know of. I mean, the Sentinel stands are pretty good, but I don't know if they sell them separately. If you're getting into, like, larger humanoid figures, you know, the Hot Toy stands are very nice with the, the kind of flexible thing that they got going on, the flexible arm. I, I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about, but... And, uh... I wish they sold Figma stands separately. That would be awesome. Um, Gundam stands. Master grade Gundam stands. Pretty good. High grade stands. There's a lot of options there. But my preferred one is obviously Banet Imagination Zack 5 stand. Can never go wrong with that. If any of you guys have uh, recommendations for figure stands, leave them in the chat for this fine gentleman here. And now let me go to the next... Super chat. Thank you very much, DD, with five dollars. Spicy guess. Does the thing it relates to the letters L A C C? Anyways, absolutely love your work, Jobberty. Hopefully, this helps cover the five hundred dollars. Thank you very much, DD. And uh, L A C C. I don't even know what that. I don't. I don't even know what that uh, refers to. So probably not. Uh, nice try. <laughs> Alex, thank you very much for $4.99. Jobby, my monster arts, king of the monsters, Goji's head keeps falling off and I can't get it to stay on. What is your word of advice? If it's a loose ball joint, I recommend either super glue or floor polish. Floor polish is a little more of a removable uh, method of tightening up ball joints, but a super glue would be a more permanent one. But you have to be really careful if you're going to use super glue to tighten up a ball joint. But if it's not a ball joint and it's like a faulty uh, plastic warping or something like that, it, you might need to do a little more extreme measures. You know, heat up your head, your goji head, heat up that socket and then uh, plug it into the ball joint and then hold it there and then dip it in cold water like immediately. Yeah, so you're heating the plastic to make it flexible and then you're immediately cooling it. So hope that helps, Alex. Thank you very much and thanks for... Thanks for, thanks for sticking around, man. Sorry, Lucky Charms, I still haven't seen JoJo. It's on my list, though. It's on my list, though. Then again, I have a very long list of things I, I need to watch. I think a lot of the Tommy-ness is going to come out of the the shading and the coloring here. Well, I'm not going to like shade it too uh, dramatically, but there will be shading here. Let me see. Yeah, bags under bags under the eyes. He does have that. You get that detail in here. Yeah, I like that. I like how that's coming out. Something missing though. Maybe a little more detail here. Oof. Handsome Tommy. Nah, that's fine. Check. Nice, nice, nice. 
Let's see. Lord Vaust says, Hey, Jobby, gotta go. See you next stream or next video if I can't make it. Keep up the good work. Keep calm and draw beyond. Thank you for sticking around, Lord Vaust. And I hope that you can make it to my stream on Wednesday. Wednesday night. Same time. Hope you can make it. Clear your schedule. Let's see. Hmm. Evan Bradley. Hello, Jobby. Just a random question, but what's your favorite Frank Sinatra song? My, uh, Evan's is That's Life. Yeah, I like That's Life as well. But Frank Sinatra, favorite Frank Sinatra song, it's kind of a tough one. I like a lot of his song. Let's like Fly Me to the Moon. I like Fly Me to the Moon as a song in general, but, you know, it counts as a Frank Sinatra song as well. So. And The Way You Look Tonight. Or The Way You Look Tonight. That's a really great one. Someday when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold. Alright, let me... Flip the canvas here. Very asymmetrical here. Face... Is somewhat symmetrical. Let me. I can do a little of ad adjustments actually. Let's see here. Ba ba da ba ba da ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba. Oh, yeah. Might as well. I'm sharpening the lines now. Might as well. At this point. Mr. Smiles, 98. Thank you for two, uh, $10. So far, my favorite masterpiece figure that I have has to be Dinobot, but Beast Wars Megatron is definitely great. Waiting patiently for that Masterpiece Rhinox figure. I also received $3 from Yusef Ali. Thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah. I'm also waiting for that Masterpiece Rhinox figure if they'll ever make it. If you saw the end of my MP44 review. Oh, they're... It seems like they're not going to do that anytime soon. You know, they're catering to a Japanese market. Uh, Americans can basically eat shit. <laughs> according to Takara. So... Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say Americans, but, you know, the Western market could basically eat shit. Because you're going to get an ugly-looking Optimus Primal figure that's bright fucking uh, Jolly Rancher Orange. And you're going to take it. And it's 119 bucks. You know, that's that's how Katar T Takara thinks. So... Yeah, just kind of adding line weight variation. It's not really an eyebrow, is it? But I might as well taper it off at the end there. There we go. If anything. I think what's a little bit weird here is his mouth might be just a tad too big. And maybe adjust the shape of that too. Okay. Alright, let me uh, fix his beautiful chin. Let's see. 
Pencil packed. Well, I dropped in just to say that one thing. I'm okay. Nice to have you, pencil packed. Good to have you. Uh, oh, hi, Mark. That's right. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, chat. <laughs> For anyone that's watched the room in the chat right now, can we get a room quote thread? Please. I'm asking nicely, please. Can we get a can we get quotes from the room in the chat right now? I'll start one off. You look so sexy, Lisa. Of course. You're tearing me apart. That's right, ASAP Taco. Oh, hi doggy. Th that's a good one, Michael Allen. So, Mark, how is your sex life, Bancraft Family Productions? Alfonso Garcia, you're my number one customer. Everybody betray me. Everybody betray me. Remember those words. I fed up with this world. Remember those words. As, remember those words. Remember those words as well. Everybody betray me. I fed up with this world. Remember that for Wednesday. You're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Do you know about life? Level one scrub. Why, Lisa? Why, Lisa? Why? Talk to me. Please talk to me. Please. I cannot tell you. It's confidential. <laughs> I'm fed up with this world's in danger. Fuck. Stuart, Stuart Bovey coming in with the, with the combo memes. It's fucking great. Three's a crowd. Anyway, how is your sex life? <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, spoilers, by the way. He is. <laughs> that was a good, that's a good quote. <laughs> that's a deep cut. It's this fucking corn song again. I don't want this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a quote, but ASAP Taco just says throws football. <laughs> Satu, I definitely have breast cancer. Boff says, I did not hit her. Johnny's my best friend, and I love Lisa so much. Oh, wait, no, that Mark says, Johnny's my best friend. <laughs> Fathom? Are you approaching me? <laughs> Are you approaching me? <laughs> oh no, that that wasn't a room quote. <laughs> Let's um. Actually, it's a little bit off kilter. Let me rotate it just a little bit. There we go. And let me reverse the canvas once again. Hopefully it still looks good. It's a little bit off-putting, but this is how I was drawing it initially. So there you go. Now let me pull up that picture of Tommy again. Always got to look at that reference. Got to be as... Oh, his nose ain't that big, man. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I can, I can kind of... Tone down the nose a little bit. I did not hit her. She's my future wife. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, why is this happening? Oh, why is this happening? I think Photoshop is crashing again. Tommy's just too beautiful. It's okay, though, guys. If it crashes... Uh, Photoshop does have the feature where it recovers projects, so hopefully the recovered project won't we we won't have lost too much progress. So it's in the process of crashing. I could already tell. Fucking Adobe, man! Every every update they do, it makes the program even more unstable. Look at that. I can't do shit right now. Let me just close the window. If it will even do that. Oh. Why is this happening? Why? God, forgive me. Get out, get out, get out of my life! I can't stream right now or else you'll get fucking clipped. 
What? <laughs> what kind of drugs did you take? <laughs> Stuart Bofi. Hold on. I gotta pull out the, the old control alt delete real quick. Give me a second. There we go. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's up? What's, up? What's going on with you? Is that what he says? Ah! Push his lamp over lazily. <laughs> Bancroft Family Productions. <laughs> Why so serious? Why? <laughs> okay. We didn't lose... Uh, I... I, I lost a little bit of like the proportional stuff, but I, we can work with with this. It's not that much at all, and a lot of the sharpening up the lines and shit. But now nah, we could we could redo that. It's all right. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, Stark is straight. Thanks for two bucks. Leo Convoy, not minding the kawaii anime lion eyes. Leo Convoy for me. MP Leo Con Convoy. That's a big maybe. That's a big maybe from me. I I'm. Uh, I don't really care about Beast Wars the second. Never watched it, so yeah, big maybe. Lion mode looks fucking dumb though. Sp spoons, spoons. I just got a bunch of spoons in the chat. That's a good quote. <laughs> ASAP Taco uses the same sexy. <laughs> You are my rose. You are my rose. You are my rose. <laughs> it's a good movie, man. It's a good movie. I just got the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. You're not my fucking mother. <laughs> you guys remember that? <laughs> are you okay, Danny? Are you okay? Let's go eat, huh? Oh my god! Mr. Smiles 98? That's an excellent idea! Tommy Wiseau would make a great Scooby-Doo guest star? That's fucking brilliant, man! <laughs> I wanna see that now! <laughs> Holy shit! Can you imagine? Like Zoid Scoob! It's the director of the room, Tommy Wiseau! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. Like, I really like when you show your butthole to the cameraman! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shaggy. <laughs> it's so good to be here in the mystery machine. <laughs> Watch me swoosh right in! It's right parallel. It's a good video. Oh, what? The artist, the, the artiste you're suggesting that Tommy would be the villain? And it would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you madly kids! <laughs> be funny. That'd be funny if he was the bad guy. He's the guest star and the bad guy. They are doing that one Scooby-Doo show with uh, special guest stars currently, right? Tommy should get on that. Fuck, I wish I wish Tommy would get on my channel. <laughs> uh, especially for what I have planned on Wednesday, but no, I, I I didn't I didn't reach out. I didn't reach out and he probably wouldn't respond. Because you know Tommy is a real Hollywood actor. Real Hollywood movie. Let's go eat, huh? <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Scoop. <laughs> J uh, thank you for that, JJ Zube Zoobs. 420. Zoobs! Like Zork, Scoop! I'm director of real Hollywood movie. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna save it right there. Yeah. <laughs> Scooby, you're just a little chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Let me Cranston. That's a great idea.
Okay. Okay, I can start moving on to colors pretty soon. But I do want the amount to be smaller. Hopefully Photoshop doesn't crash after this. know what eyes could even be a little smaller oh thanks very much old and new games 101 it's alpha uh five pounds thank you for five pounds hobby what type of transformer would tommy was wise be? that's a good question i think tommy would be uh uh he'd be a doggy <laughs> oh hi Oh hi dog oh hi B oh hi doggy There was a dog transformer in uh Beast Wars if you guys remember that K9 Oh Silverbolt that counts he's a wolf bird thing Okay maybe I shouldn't have messed with the eyes Okay maybe I'll keep the eyes as big as they are They'll probably bring it probably be brought together in the coloring but we'll see because the line work isn't nothing not, the line work isn't everything, I should say. Okay. So let me make a color layer. Oh my god. <laughs> Tommy kills Daphne. I did not hit her. I did not. That's fucked up. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Thanks, Boff. ASAP Taco. I'd rather stay in my car form. Oh. I'd rather stay in my car form. <laughs> I can't tell you. It's confidential. Fuck, I should have said that when, pe when you guys were asking me to spill the beans. About what, what I'm doing or what I'm releasing on Wednesday. I can't tell you. It's confidential. Anyway, how was your sex life? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's actually not a bad uh, brush. But now nah, I'm already stuck stuck with another brush. So. Alright, don't crash on me now. This always happens. Hey. Bitch. 50 there we go don't crash all right save perfect <laughs> crimson claw what if he was a digimon what <laughs> who tommy <laughs> <laughs> oh hi ty <laughs> pepper breath <laughs> i don't know why i imagine him as an agumon Tommy-mon, Digivolve to real Hollywood director-mon. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm wasted. I love you, darling. This is Dalt Dalton O'Neill. It's a good quote as well, man. Those fucking drinks, what the hell were they? Like, scotch and vodka. That's what it was. It's disgusting. Mmm, no, I don't drink. <laughs> He'd be Edamon, that's right, Stark. That's the, uh, the, uh, ape, right? The monkey. Edamon. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Not calling Tommy an ape by any means, but, you know, a show, a showman's personality, I can see that. Okay, there's something that seems to be missing here.
Okay. Let's try going for the colors now. Now, all right, just gotta double check the text here. Give me a second. Come on. Select the text, you son of a bastard. Jesus. There you go. Okay, I'll just move that down here. Oh, maybe it should be on the top. Maybe the text should have been on the top the whole time. Yeah, but it does look good at the bottom, though. Just like the original poster. I'll keep it on the bottom. Yeah. I like that. Alright. Uh, Dimsidios says, well, enjoy the rest of the stream, dude. Good night, Dimsidios. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope to see you on Wednesday night. We will be releasing something related to Tommy Wiseau, related to The Room. And I am very excited to share it with you. Okay, here we go. Let me... Trying to think of a color profile here. I want there to be like a red filter, so I'm just gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna have like an off red, not too not too bright red, so to hurt your eyes. But that should do. Oh, that might be a little too searing. I don't know. Maybe a little darker, actually. Kind of simulates the movie poster. Well, I'll, I'll figure it out later, but. Might as well figure it out. I like the brighter one actually. Let me just change that. Okay. I'll stick with that. And I'm not going to color him in a perfect skin tone. He's going to be a bit pink with some shading. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to think of like a concept for the color of this cover. I'm a happy man. Hey! Thanks, uh, Fuzzerps Reborn for $2. And they ask, do you like pears? Yes, I do. I love pears. The fruit and the body type. And I also received $5 from Alexander Welsh. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Oh, was the theme song. Okay, so I'm going to go for a darker palette, and then the face will stand out a little more. Oh, that's the color. That's the color layer. I'll just merge it. Fuck it. Make a new color layer. Okay. Now... Now, you got to trust me on this. I don't even trust myself, honestly, but it's a little experiment in color here. It's like I want it to be Tommy Wiseau, but filtered through a red film. So I'm going to color him not in skin tone, but this color. There we go. I killed her. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, Barbecue Sauce says Shin Godzilla and the Room crossover. You might think that because I have the Who Oh No album art on the background here, but no. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not what I'm doing on Wednesday. It, it, if that was even a guess about what I'm doing on Wednesday. So. Or what I'm revealing on Wednesday, I should say. If I got rid of the lines, I have that. Let me do this. Let me duplicate this layer here. And then the original one, I'm going to erase the face lines. I just want the... Um oh, that's right. I could just select it. Let's do that. Boom, 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 boom. Shit. Fucked up. It's okay. Keep going. Okay, and then I'll just cut 
with that. Come on. Hold on. Ow. Come on, man. Clear that. Then I'll clear this as well. There we go. So I don't really need the lines, actually. Also. Hold on. Gotta gotta recalibrate my my brain here i want the lines to go but oh that's that's why i copied it i'm a fucking dummy i copied it to preserve it just in case i d didn't like the uh no line direction so i'm just gonna erase this now Sharpen that up real quick. Mr. Smiles98, thank you for five dollars. I swear Tommy Wiseau is an alien that escaped Area 51. He's something else, man. He's something else, and I don't want to. I don't want to say that he's an alien because I'm I'm proud that he's a uh, actual human being. I am proud to be the same species as Tommy Wiseau. Uh, that means that we that we're as humans we're capable of great things, man. And thanks Magic Mensch for two dollars. And he says me I'm broke. No worries, man. Thank you for thank you for supporting me and thank you for watching uh, all the time. That's just my Facebook Messenger going off. Don't mind me. But I do have to keep my alerts on so I can catch the Streamlab donations. Link in the description, by the way. Don't freaking crash on me now, baby. Might have messed up a little bit, but I can keep going. All right, then, just here, just to clean this up. Bam. There we go. Golden skillet. Good night. Glad you could make it. It's been fun. Ultraman in the Monsterverse. Renegade Gamer says Ultraman in the Monsterverse. Be pretty cool. It would be pretty cool. That's all I have to say. I did not. Oop. Valdez Nichols, Jobby, you should stream the room game. I might not, but I do love that game a lot. I played it many times, and I still haven't collected all the hidden spoons. Ah, who knows? Maybe I will. I don't know. There's a potential. I won't I won't be doing it anytime soon, but I, I do like the game. And if you don't know what he's talking about, it's the room game on Newgrounds. Fantastic, man. 
was it Johnny Utah, uh, Chris O'Neill doing the music. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a great achievement. Kobe no or no uh, thank you for 199 was thinking about sending you a perfect grade Phoenix or does that Phoenix to build sorry about that uh, my uh, my PO box is closed so I'm not accepting fan mail anymore but thank you for your generosity and thank you for your two dollars on the separate layer actually Ennard the boy I thought of something what if Tommy Wiseau was really the calm but stupid half of Nicolas Cage and the other half being Nicolas Cage well first of all Tommy I do not think Tommy is stupid uh, and Nicolas Cage is a whole nother beast. He's brilliant in his own right. I also love Nicolas Cage. <laughs> I'm not the part of Nicolas Cage. I'm Tommy. <laughs> and I'm not Tommy. I'm Nicolas Cage. I can't do a Nicolas Cage. I should work on that. Let me... Okay, don't crash. You fuck. Don't crash. I swear to God. I swear to God. Don't you crash on me now. Save. Oh, barbecue sauce. Have a good night. About to have you. This is the problem of streaming late, but I've got no other options. I've got stuff that I have to do in the day, so I stream at night. And I am always grateful to all of you here that join me consistently. It's very nice, very fun. Always a pleasure. I'm telling you, man, mark your calendars for Wednesday night. It's going to be pretty important, I should say. Pretty important that you, you join me. And I bet, and I, uh... No, that's all I have to say about that. I don't want to reveal too much. Oh, this is actually all dark at that point, huh? All of that. Okay. Let me do this. Okay, no, that doesn't work. This does. Artiste, 
Jobby is surprisingly relaxing as a draw streamer. Gotta love it, man. Great to chill in bed, too. I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you think so. Oh, that's weird. Alright, I'll forgo doing that. This whole thing will be black. Or this reddish color. Anything. Probably don't need those. Then all it is is just making the super. make it look more like Tommy. En entered, entered the boy. Jobby, how are your hands? Not bad. Why do you ask? You know. I should look into some wrist stretches sometimes because I do use my hands a lot. Also because I'm at the computer all the time. Come on. <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter. What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Kayo Joanning, good night. Glad to have you. Hope you can join us next time on the main channel. Don't forget, guys. Main channel, we're doing a, a drawing stream. And we're going to be revealing something pretty big. And I hope you guys don't miss it. Because if you do, I will be very sad. And I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even freaking joking, man. Everybody betray me. I am so fed up with this world. Okay. So, what I can do here, add some. I think the shading is really what's going to do it, I, I feel, I feel pretty confident. Let's make this like 25% or something, and then make this multiply. Alright, let's get specific. Oh, hold on. Noticed a inconsistency. There you go. Also, this can be a little more worked on. all of that. Okay, I need to color this stuff in. Okay, yeah, I don't need the hair strands on the top, at least this.
Parallel. Will Wednesday stream be late night? Most likely. It'll, it'll be around the same time as tonight. So, you know, hope that some of you, at least some of you, can stay up that night. Mark your calendars. It's around the same time as this stream. Possibly even later, depending on when my buddies get here. Also, let's look at the stream this way, right? It's a late celebration of my fifth anniversary. My fifth anniversary was on September 25th. And what better way to celebrate than to get a group of friends and just draw Tommy Wiseau in silly ways. That's going to happen on Wednesday. And, of course, dropping a project that I'm very excited about. God damn it. Ha! <sighs> you don't know how excited I am about this, man. It was it was a very happy moment when we got this idea on how to how to um, go about this. And I hope you guys, I hope you guys are up for it, man. I hope you guys are are down for what we uh, what we got in store. To alleviate any fears, this this ain't gonna. You know affect the toy review stuff it's just gonna be something it's just a you know passion project that I've been working on and uh, or that we've been working on I should say give credit where credit is due I only provided 70% <laughs> no no 30% I should say 30 uh, 20 20%. I provided 20% of the thing that we are dropping on Wednesday. Emma Curtin! Thank you for $10. I'm preparing a drawing in honor of your 5th anniversary, but it's still gonna take a while. I hope you see it and love it when I eventually post it on Twitter. Gotta go. Peace out, my fellow Joblins. Good night, Emma. Or good day. Wherever, uh, whatever time it is for you, and thank you very much. I will be looking forward to your, uh, your tribute. And if you guys haven't done it already, go follow me on Twitter at Jobby the Hung. Not Irishman. Hello, I'm back. What did I miss? Not much. I'm just coloring the picture and that's basically what's going on. I'm coloring the picture. I'm about to shade Tommy here. And now... Uh, yeah, let's take this hair color. Alright, here we go. Save before it freaking crashes again.
Michael Allen has another guest for you all. It's either a short film or a return of Jobby the Song. Either or, I would be really keen. Not necessarily. So, not necessarily. So I will, I will have to debunk your guess, but thank you for trying. I like that, but... Baron Paradox, thank you for $2. Love your work, Jobby. Keep it up. Swivel on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man. I'm already teasing a pretty big thing that, uh, for this week, but what if, I, what if I told you that I have another big thing for this month? The word swivel reminded me of that and that's all I'm going to say. But let's not take uh let's not take attention away from this project that's coming out on Wednesday. I was gone for a month, but on the main channel at least. I was gone from the main channel for a month. And hopefully this month will make up for that. Hey, thanks, Baron Paradox, for another two dollars. What is your opinion? <laughs> what is your opinion on the Siege Unicron? Well, chat, you know that um, I already mentioned that, but I'll say it again because uh, you must have missed it. But I, not getting it, not getting Siege Unicron, and I will not be backing it because of. Well, the design is not up to snuff for a $500 figure. I know it's huge, but size isn't everything, right? Also, I'm saving my money for the Zeta Toys Core Star if it ever comes out. Because Zeta Toys Core Star is definitely the better looking figure. That's for sure. Oh, that's a little bit nasty. What the hell? Hold on. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a problem there. Let me just. Hmm, what can I do? Erase, not that, but erase this. And then I'll just transfer this shit to the color layer. Now what the hell is this layer? What is this on? The hair layer. Oh frick! This is getting my layers in order. Yeah, I'll clean that up right now, but put it on the right layer this time. Oh, but the hair also affects it. Okay, hold on. 
You introduce some chaos and you fix the chaos. There's no steps here. As I said in my MP44 review. Evan Bradley asks, is Zeta Toys Unicron coming with a small Galvatron 2? I don't believe so. I think that's just Hasbro's case. But, you know, there's this, there's this term. There's this term in the Transformers fandom that might have a stigma because of its usage by, you know, hardcore G1 fans. But I think it applies to what I, what I feel about the uh, Zeta Toys Unicron. Chug. You guys heard of that term? Chug. C-H-U-G. Unicron is practically a gigantic $500 chug. And chug, I believe, means classics, henkai, universe, generations. So it's not uh, G1 inspired. It's like their own made up thing. It, you know, it has references to the G1 style, but it's not trying to be accurate to G1. And while I don't mind when designs take a, you know, I'm I'm the first one to admit that G1 isn't everything, okay? I basically said that uh, MP44 wasn't worth the money, even though it's a per great representation of the G1 model. But in Unicron's case, I do prefer how he looked in the movie. And uh, Siege's design for Unicron does not appeal to me personally. So, while Zeta Toy's core star does. So there you go. That's a little bit of an elaboration on my opinion on that. Chug. So I was right, right? Uh, not not Irishman? Yeah. Uh, Classics Henkai Universe Generations. Yeah. And it's called, you know, we call that Chug because those are the... Uh, the toy lines that have those kind of designs that are sort of G1 inspired but not accurate to G1 if that makes sense so there you go chug Siege does have a good rep uh, good reputation doesn't it still I s still not feeling it though I you know they look fine but I've got limited shelf space and I want to make sure that all the figures that I get are like I want to put it on my shelf, you know. Also, Core Star, Zeta Toys Core Star, way smaller, obviously, than the uh, Siege version, and some people see that as a bad thing. But how I see it, I mean, it doesn't matter. Unicron just has to be big, because if you want an in-scale Unicron figure, well. It's basically going to be the size of a house. Like, you don't... It doesn't matter if it's in scale or not, you know. I guess it matters for people who collect, like, combiner figures and Unicron would be combiner size, and that's kind of weird. But just display them on separate shelves then. How about that? I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem like a good complaint to say that, oh, it's... It's uh, too... What should I say? Too small. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. that up farther. Ah, you know what. Instead of erasing, I'm just gonna add. Cheat a little bit, because I can. Siege being the poor man's masterpiece is the perfect description. Damn. And that's not a bad thing at all, man. Especially because the masterpiece figures are going off the rails when, with their prices. So, you know, glad that the Siege line exists. Me personally, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll be getting any Siege figure anytime soon, but I'm glad that it exists. For people who want good designs, because they do look good, but, you know, can't 
uh, throw down the cash for a masterpiece figure, which they, at this point, I talk about it more in my MP44 review. Go check that out if you haven't after this video uh, stream, of course. Don't leave yet. We're not done. In fact, we've got at least another hour. Evan Bradley, how much is Masterpiece Black Arachnia's asking price? I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's in the hundreds, which is still pretty shit. But it's Black Arachnia, I'm a Beast Wars fanboy, so Takara's got me by the balls on that one. And even then, you didn't hear it from me, folks, but even then, I'm, I'm losing a bit of faith in the Beast Wars line, actually. After seeing what third party uh, third party companies can do, I saw a miniature Black Arachnia figure that I forgot one company is doing, and their spider mode looks perfect. And I don't know how they managed to do that. And if you've seen the pictures of the masterpiece Black Arachnia coming out right now, it's like, yeah, the spider mode looks like shit, but the robot mode looks amazing. It's always been my belief that. Uh, because the Beast Wars transformations in the show were so out there, it's like, okay, I can excuse the shitty beast modes. And they're not super shitty. They're not the worst. They just have that undeniable kibble. I always used to think that that's, you know, that's forgivable because of the compromises that need to be made. But, is it though? I don't know, man. I really don't know. It's, uh, the whole MP44 thing is making me question uh, even those figures engineering now. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's possible to have some clean beast modes and clean robot modes. Maybe you can have the best of both worlds. Hannah Montana. Uh, of course, I'm talking out of my ass because I haven't made a... I haven't engineered a figure myself, so... But I'm just saying, food for thought. Food for thought. Might be possible. Maybe it is possible, but with like parts forming and no Transformer Collector likes parts forming. You know, you can have like uh, beast mode skin panels covering up the, the Kibli bits. If anything, if a third party company were to have that, I'd be on that shit, man. I, I, would, I would buy something like that for sure. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of my rant? Oh, hi, Jobby. <laughs> oh, hi, Jobby. I didn't know it was you. That's me. You're my favorite customer. Oh, hi, doggy. Yeah, thanks, Brad Clone. Save just in case it fucking crashes again, because that could happen at any point. All right, I don't need that. I could just keep the bottoms white like that. I think that's fine.
Wesemation says we know from PMs that between Zeta and a customer that Hasbro actually shut down Core Star indefinitely. If that's true, and if someone can send me those PMs, by the way, so I can do more research on that. If it's true, then that's a damn shame and even more of a reason why I won't back their Unicron. How the hell are you going to charge $500 and it's not perfect, you know? Same with MP44. It's getting, it's getting tiresome. Crimson Claw, thank you for $5. Big fan, Jobby. You always talk about Digimon, but not so much about Digimon Fusion. Any opinion on it? Uh, no, because I don't think I've seen it or heard of it, actually. Unless you're talking about the act of Digimon Fusion, DNA Digivolving, which is pretty cool. Also, I don't always talk about Digimon. <laughs> I, but, uh, you know, I do like Digimon, though, so it's not a bad assumption. It's not slanderous by any means to assume that I talk about Digimon a lot. Looks like a mustache. No. Just really make it super simple shapes here, but I still want it to look at least somewhat like Tommy Wiseau. This unlucky creator, have a good night. Hot foot, hot foot, have a good night as well. Tori Sugari, Jobby, can I just say those lips are very smoochable? Tommy does have smoochable lips. Thank you. Unless you're talking about mine. Chris Redfield, Jobby, how to watch Evangelion in order. As a special operative, I thought you would know. Um, Chris, Chris, you just watch the TV show, uh, all the episodes, even the last two, just to get the full experience, and then you watch the movie End of Evangelion. And that's all on Netflix. And if you're not tired of Evangelion at that point, go ahead and watch the rebuilds which are available on Blu-ray, I believe. So, there you go. That's the order you should watch it. TV show, End of Ava, and then Rebuilds if you want. I do recommend them, though. I, me, me personally, I, li I like uh, the Rebuilds, so...
time. Okay. Have an idea here. Just bridge the gap a little bit. Parallel music. Hey, Jobby, what's your favorite anime opening? Evangelion. Cruel Angel's thesis. Never gets old. That's an opening that I could uh, never skip and still be happy. Some this shape here. Looks like the Joker. This is why Superman works alone. <laughs> why the hell are you saying that, Enter? Enter the boy. This is why Superman works alone. I'll cancel the pizzas! Does anyone get that reference? I'll cancel the pizzas. Cheap gamer, what Dragon Maid character would you smash? Look what. That's all I'll say. Lord knows I, Lord knows I'd smash. Lord knows I'd smash. That's an excellent question, Tori Sugari. Pineapple on pizza? Yes. I am one of the degenerates that likes pineapple on pizza. You can unsubscribe now. 
I've had plenty of crazy things on pizza. I've had, well, pineapple, chicken, barbecue chicken, you know. Maybe some hot chicken on pizza, seafood. You guys ever had seafood pizza? That shit. Fucks. Good stuff, man. You goddamn white people gotta open up your mind. <laughs> Uh, it's not just white people. You goddamn Westerners gotta open up your minds to some crazier combinations on pizza. Can't it can't just be pepperoni and sausage forever. Coward, coward, intellectual dumbass, coward. Sorry, if I've offended any pepperoni lovers, uh, unsubscribe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love pepperoni. I love pizza. I love pizza in all forms. I haven't tried anchovies on pizza yet. I'd be down to, but I haven't tried anchovies on pizza. It's a basic topping, but I haven't tried that yet. Broccoli on pizza? I've never even tried that. Marshmallows on pizza? Well, if it's a dessert pizza, that would be fine. You know, like a giant cookie. I could see marshmallows on pizza. That song's a bit loud for some reason. The I hate everything theme. Deep-fried pizza, what the frick? Deep-fried pizza sounds like an abomination that I would try. Not even gonna lie. Mr. Smiles, 98, thank you for $5. Just wondering, are you excited about Primal? Yes, the miniseries by Gendy Tartakovsky, I am. I'm looking forward to Primal a lot. What the hell? Sorry about that, I got a text. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Primal. I, I think I've talked about it in in a past stream before. And uh, hell yeah, it looks awesome, man. If you guys don't know what what uh, Mr. Smiles is talking about, I def definitely recommend you check it up. Primal Adult Swim. Look that up and get your mind blown, cause that shit looks fantastic. I'm just analyzing the picture, seeing what I can add to it. Hmm. Uh, 
Well, yeah, obviously I'm gonna go and make some lights. Ooh, Chris Redfield asking the tough questions. Well, not really, because it's a fucking easy answer. Papa John's or dump? Papa John's. Papa John's all the way, boy. Papa, Papa's in the house. Papa's in the house. Hell yeah. Papa John's fucks. My, my layers have just become a mess, but I don't care anymore. I, I don't. They betray me. They didn't keep their promise, and I don't care anymore. The Legend 37. Thank you for $5. Hey, Jobby, hope your weekend was good. Making a big purchase in the near future. Gonna be picking up a 3-0 Big Daddy. Pray for my wallet. Holy shit! 280 bucks? I hope that figure's worth it, man. Jesus. I hope you have fun with it. I hope you have fun with it. That's all I, that's all I can really say about that. Sexy Tommy. I love it. the hell you had it before what are you talking about man that's why you're buying it again okay i've had i've had a similar i've had a similar experience of but like buying a figure that i i uh, yeah yeah it's not the best financial decision but it feels like it's worth it at the time right i i won't judge you i cannot judge you never hear that don't mind it it's just a text but I keep the alerts on just in case uh, someone donates to the Streamlabs, which I can only see through PayPal. Thinking I might not even need this. Hmm. Oh, come on, don't. Whew. Don't crash. I swear to Christ. Fucking scared, man. West summations? That's the best way. Thank you for uh, tweeting that out. Uh, at, uh, tweeting that at me. I will take a look at that uh, later after the stream. Thank you. Thank you for that, though. It's the messages between Zeta Toys and a customer. I'm going to do my research on that. I kind of like this fucking just a little, little bit. A little, little bit luscious, you know.
Tobias Renner asks, would you participate in a drawing competition? I don't think so. I'm too lazy for that. I'd rather just draw on my own. I don't need to uh, flex on anybody. But if the cash was big enough, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Something a little experimental here. Music's a little quiet now. Let me fix that. Chris Redfute says, I wish you hit 1 million subs. Maybe. Someday. Maybe someday, right? Thank you for your... Thank you for your good wishes. Maybe someday. Not Irishman asks, Did you hear about Nostalgia Critics The Wall review? I did, and I made a whole Twitter thread about it. It was... I'm glad that he made it, because it forced me to rethink my life choices, or... My content choices, I should say. So, thank God for that. It was just a little... A lot of people described it as self-indulgent, which is an accurate description. It was self-indulgent, a little bit pretentious, and it wasn't even a review. Well, it's more like it just an unfair critique. I, I don't know how to put it, but... There's a JAR Media podcast about it, and they do an excellent job at deconstructing why that video went wrong, and it made me realize, oh shit, uh, with my content and all the skits and the lore and all that shit, it's like, oh, I might be going down that path as well. I don't want to do that. So if you notice the difference in my MP44 review, then that's uh, it's kind of the reason why. It's one of the reasons why I decided to make a slight change. So there you go. I have... I've even seen a little bit of the wall review. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. Logan Kuhn, thanks for coming in. Change been fine. And, uh, you know, we're just drawing Tommy Wiseau for an, a still undefined purpose this whole time what it's been two hours it's been two hours and i haven't revealed what i what i'm drawing this for man come on and i haven't heard an accurate guess well you know what i will say right now if you guys are still wondering about what i'm doing what i'm gonna release on wednesday with my friends there was at least one slightly accurate guess in the chat that i read out loud by the way but I couldn't, I couldn't say that it was completely accurate because it wasn't, but it was slightly accurate. So that's all I'll say. I'll make it as vague as possible. Cheap Gamer, is it the room's anniversary? If it is, then that would be perfect timing, but I don't know. <laughs> EK Oddlink, I wish. I wish I could just say that Tom, Tommy Wiseau was going to be in a video, but he, he ain't anytime soon. I wish, though. One of these days, I would just need a good part for him, you know? 
and he would have to respond to me as well. It's like, I, I, I'm not, I don't know if I have that kind of pull. I at least have some kind of pull with David K, but that was more so, uh, you know, a fan thing. David K is just a, a fantastic guy who would do anything for the fans. So that's how, that's how I got him because he was such a nice guy. trying to do some uh, more highlights just you know experimenting a little bit maybe one right here that's a little too clean mm. ah you know what there is something I can do better here Nope, not that one. Here we go. Unagi roll. Have a good night. Glad you can join us. RJ, the cool guy, if Tommy was in a Michael Bay movie, he would be the best part. What the hell? <sighs> well, shit. Moneybags McGee, thank you for uh, 200 bucks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, a little pocket change for a good old chap. You know, uh, shit, man. I don't know what to say. Thank you very much. Even if this ends up being some kind of like prank and that and you take it away at, at the end, you know, I got to say thank you for now, right? You guys heard about that? I'm not accusing you of anything, Moneybags McGee. If it is really 200 bucks, holy fucking shit. <laughs> God damn. Thanks, man. I, I highly appreciate it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, basically, right? I should dedicate this to him. This fucking Tommy picture. This is for you, money bags. God damn. God. God damn. The, immediately when I saw that, I had to pee. <laughs> immediately after I saw that, I, I had to pee a little bit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm, I'm gonna hold it though because we're we're nearing the end here, but fucking hell Thank you God damn it guys you guys some of you guys are too nice man. Some of you guys are too nice to me What the hell did I ever do? What the hell did I ever do man? Jesus Jesus Well <laughs> Yeah, that's all I can really say about that. Thank you, man. Thank you, 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 thank you. I love you, money bags. I love you, money bags. 
You're going into the Super Chat Hall of Fame. First it was Alex, now it's Moneybags McGee. <laughs> Perfect name for that, by the way. Moneybags McGee. God damn. Thank you, Moneybags. Again, uh, Moneybags McGee says, you've been a good friend and inspiration to us all. That's very nice of you to say, Moneybags. That's very nice of you to do as well. Holy shit. Holy shit. I really get a pee now. <laughs> I, you know, this might, this might be the first stream that I did, or the first recent stream that I did, that I, I didn't even take a break. It's okay, though. I'm just really focused on doing this, and what do we have here? <laughs> All right, man. Thank you. Money bags, Biggie. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. In a good way. <laughs> In a good way. Oh, Sam DVX, yeah, glad glad that you can see that shit too. Holy crap, man! All right. Wow. Wow. Why is this a stream that everyone's just just great? Everyone's just fucking great in the stream right now. Holy shit! Okay, we got a. Uh, Hamon, Jobby, thoughts on Shin Godzilla 2 being axed? Also, it's a Gundam, it's a Gunpla collab. If you had the chance, keep it up with the pimp lifestyle. Uh, Shin Godzilla getting axed, that's too bad because Shin Godzilla Part 1 was really good. And I would have liked to seen that story continue. Uh, as for it's a Gundam collab, I don't know. I have to look more into him. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. He follows me on Twitter at least. And he watches my content at least. So he doesn't seem like a bad guy. Would have to look more into him, though. I'm not sure exactly what kind of content he does. So, yeah. Yeah, who knows, man? Who knows? But he seems like a good guy. That's right, Carol Koo. Three cheers for money bags. Hip, hip. Hmm. I'm looking at the picture now just to determine what else can I do because I seem to be at an impasse, but I think I know what I have to do. It's going to require a bit of surgery, <laughs> a bit of Photoshop surgery, but I think I, I think I got this. Okay, that was that was a bit of sculpting. There. Yeah, let me let me fix this. Actually, it's bothering me. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna perform that surgery now. So, it's on the mouth. So, I do like that lip sparkle though. I will keep that, but I'm going to get rid of the shading here. And 
right here on the lips. Yeah, I'll go for like three hours instead. I want to finish this picture. And I want to make it as, as good as I can for reasons. So what I'm going to do here... Actually, I'm just going to... Take his mouth bigger. I think that's what it needs. I'm like comparing it directly to the actual Tommy here. And his mouth is a little bit wider. Still gotta be juicy though. Still gotta be juicy. But wider. There we go. I don't need that. But there we go. Now let me see if this is it. <laughs> Moto Moto says draw Neil Breen. Oh, Neil Breen. That Neil Breen is... Whoa. If you thought Tommy Wiseau was an alien. Oh, shit. Neil Breen is... Whew. <laughs> Neil Breen is a trip. <laughs> I highly recommend everyone look up Neil Breen. Tommy Wiseau actually made a better movie. And what Neil Breen did. I will say that right out the gate. Neil Breen is something else, man. Neil Breen is something else. Okay, I can actually maybe adjust this bottom lip. Carol Koo, good night. Good night. Uh, obviously it's gonna be white okay oh, let me add some shading here
we talking about donuts now? Hold on. Did you see that 3-0 announced Edward and Alphonse Elric figures? They both look amazing. Legend 37, I have not. And I don't doubt it. But I haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist, so... Uh, there you go. Beast mascot. Thank you for an Australian two dollars. Did Takara ever get back to you about MP44? I know because I never contacted them. Unless you're asking if they saw my video and responded. No, no, I haven't heard any words about Takara. So, or from Takara, I haven't heard any word from them. So, that is my answer for that. Parallel, I was okay with the Darling and the Franks ending. It was a good ending, even though it was preceded by a slightly convoluted plot that wasn't too great. So, the ending was good. That's all I gotta say. Uh, no, Tori Sugari, I do not intend to make a uh, video commentating or parodying a Spider-Man Elsa thing. It's kind of a non-topic now. I also, you know, I don't want to bring any more attention to it than it already has. Because those videos are... can Those videos can both go to hell and are from hell. So, they can go back to hell. That's what I should say. RJ the cool guy, I have seen the Sentinel Iron Giant figure and it looks awesome. I might get it. Hmm. Just experimenting guys, no worries. Kind of like that, actually. 
I might keep that. Hmm. Pokey T Gaming, have a good night. I always gotta say it because I do stream late. I don't mind if you guys do drop off because it is late. Some of you got school in the morning. Maybe most of you, I don't know. But for every for anyone who is uh, still watching, I gotta thank you. Thank you very much. Janess Torres coming with the real questions here. Are you happy about being on YouTube for so long? Yeah. Yeah. You know. I I enjoy that I have found moderate success by entertaining people. You know, it's always been a dream to entertain people in some way or another. And what else can I say? I rather you know wouldn't be doing anything else but it you know it took a while for me to get back on the horse because I had to question to myself it's like what can I do that is sustainable and that I that I enjoy doing but also allows me to succeed even further on YouTube and then you know that's why the mp44 was slightly different than my previous content or or you can say like it was back to basics so Short answer, I'm happy. I am happy. It's like, come on, man. How could I not be happy? I'm fucking drawing in the middle of the night. And sharing it. That's awesome. Oh, shit. 
think that looks pretty good. I could definitely, I, I think I'm going to go back in there and maybe add some more darker shades to it, but I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, my layers got, my layers got kind of, uh, kind of crazy. So. Ugh. go like 30 or 29 whatever I'm gonna go in there and just add a little bit more shading just another layer another layer of shading let me tell you right now after Wednesday after the Wednesday stream that I plan to do you'll you'll want to come back here <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, I don't know. Cause then you'll you'll see what the artwork was for, you know. Maybe people. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm saying. Uh, I'm I'm hoping Wednesday goes well. I'm hoping Wednesday goes well, and uh, I have a good feeling it might. The only thing that might not play so well is the people who are like, "Uh, oh, but it's not a toy review." Well, that's why I'm want to do one on Saturday. Yeah, hopefully it goes well, man. I'm confident. Tobias Renner. Hey, Jobby, shout out to Argentina. There you go. <laughs> From Buenos Aires. Sexy Tommy, frick yeah. I don't know, I don't think a nose light might be necessary. I nah, 
Nah, I don't think it is necessary. Shit, man. That doesn't look bad at all. That might be it. I don't know. That might be it, though. Like some slight discrepancies in the background, but that's okay because I can just. Fuck. Nope. Hmm. No, that didn't work. Let me see. Need the hair, obviously. Oh. Okay. Okay, hold on. We'll just take that, bring the hair back, and freaking color all that appropriately. Make it one consistent shade. Oh, wait. Wrong layer. There we go. Fuck. Sheep gamer, have a good night, or day, or whatever. See you later, man. Hope hope to see you on Wednesday as well. Hope to see you all on Wednesday. By the way, mark your calendars, man. Mark your calendars. this now. Just trying to get rid of all those color inconsistencies. Barely noticeable, but they are still there. find out what the what's the source of that oh yeah, I don't need that shit Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> JJ Zoops 420, please notice me. You've been noticed. Tobias Renner, if one day I manage to be an animator and would need some voice actors, I'll be asking you. I appreciate it, man. There we go. I still haven't, um, still haven't seen any, um, accurate guesses. Only one, as I said before, but, you know, maybe that's a good thing. It's a good, maybe it's a good thing that people don't know what this is for yet. So, which is going to make Wednesday more surprising. Very excited. Very excited. Gastray Rex Frame, good night, and I'll see you Wednesday. Stuart Bovey, this is probably the longest I've stayed on one of your streams, and gotta say it's worth it. Despite how late it is, thanks for making a rough day much better. Hey, no problem, man. And thanks for sticking with me for so long. I think I will end it very soon, though. Um, I'll give it like 20 more minutes, because I feel like I'm almost done with this. I feel like this is, this. it's coming together, man. Oh, what if I gave him sans eyes? Uh. Well, red sans eyes. My shouting gun. <laughs> I don't know what else I can put here. I'm trying to think. If there's anything else I can do. could do if anything is to do like some overall color adjustment so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do this let's say red dress cover art face then I'm gonna go to my pictures open that up in Photoshop hopefully it doesn't crash it didn't and then I can Experiment with the colors a little bit. So let me go to the hue. Oh, Thanos Tommy, Thanos Tommy. <laughs> I am inevitable. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Super red. I kind of like the more red look, honestly, not going to lie. Red, red Tommy. Yeah, I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think of, like, really red Tommy? <laughs> it doesn't look bad. Because red is a theme. Red is a theme in what I'm doing, so. Might be a good choice. Hmm. MP44 Tommy! <laughs> 
Just, just Kevin says NP44 Tommy. That's fucking funny. Don't crash, you son of a bitch. Feel it going slow already. Yeah, I think I like. Holy shit, I think I like that. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. Um, I'm gonna ask for feedback real quick from my collaborator. Gundam Ghost. Imposter Gundam Ghost with two dollars and he says of course review more Gundam. Bad dude on the screen, how does it feel to have tape on your face so frequently? That's, um, it's not bad. This tape that I have here, it's it's not super sticky, so when I remove it, it doesn't hurt as much. And, you know, eventually I just forget about it. It feels natural. So, that's a good question, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Ah, my collaborator is probably sleeping, which he should be, because it's late as, as his balls already. But um, all right, no, I think I think I'm I think this is it. But afterwards, let's see. Afterwards, I should put. Cause Tommy has like a weird fucking uh, reflection thing going on. I want that. I want that right now. How do I do that? <laughs> do you guys know how I can how I can replicate uh, this effect on the text? Anyone? I want to do that. That looks dumb. <laughs> I want that though. Oh. Yeah, people, okay, people are still guessing, you know. It, no, it's not a musical parody of The Room. It's not uh, for merch. I mean, technically you could call it, not really. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Tor Tori, Tori Sugari, thank you. That makes a lot of sense. I will, uh, yeah, reverse the words and move it. That makes total sense. And then I can do add a warp effect or a perspective effect. Give me a second here. Well, I need that, but. Perspective warp. Text layer must be rasterized. Yes. Click and drag to define planes. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this whole thing, but, you know. 
Not bad. Warp. Perfect. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. Fuck, I gotta move it down though. Oh, I shouldn't have uh, flipped it like that. Okay, I can flip it in regardless. It's horizontal. It had to be a vertical flip. I'm fucking dumb. Let me do the fucking warp again. It's supposed to look shit, but this looks this looks shit. <laughs> uh, but it's you know. I will move it upwards. It's fucking funny. I can just imagine Tommy doing this. Like, <laughs> I am I. Uh, Photoshop is... <laughs> I love you, Photoshop. You're so sexy, Photoshop. <laughs> and then this is gonna get a drop shadow. Uh, ZZE20, uh, yeah, e ZZE223. Um, I'm using Photoshop. Photoshop, what the hell? Uh, Photoshop CC2019. That's what I'm using to draw and color and do everything. I got $2 right now, but from an anonymous source and the message got retracted. Uh, thank you anyway for $2. gradient to this because the original has a gradient yeah that's a bad gradient I should fix it Fancy? That 
Thancy got it, but um, I won't elaborate any further. But Thancy, Thancy got it. So you know, stay tuned for Wednesday, and you'll see how it sounds. <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm nostalgia critic. I'm so excited! <laughs> Oh, and also, if anyone likes the song that's playing right now, this royalty-free song, it's, um... Ultra Lounge by Kevin McLeod. Good old Incompetech.com. So there you go. And then... Let me save that. We'll call that just cover art. Oh, no. Uh, cover art. Let's go edit. There we go. And now, I'm going to copy this just to preserve it. Copy this just to preserve it. And then I'm going to merge these two. Can I not? I have to rasterize them first. You see, I'll be a biatch. There you go. Rasterize. Rasterize. Let's merge them. Then just adjust it real quick. The whole thing. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. I like this. I like how this is coming out. And Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to show you guys. Uh... <laughs> Keep your footballs in your pocket. Keep your stupid comments in your pocket. You're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. All right, man. Holy shit. Hmm. Actually, that could even use a little more adjustments. It's gotta be perfect, man. It's gotta be perfectly bad. Tobias Renner, thank you for joining me. All right, this is gonna be the final touch and then I'll be out of your hair because we're already at uh, three hours. But you got to see me complete a piece of art from start to finish. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but I'm just gonna add a finishing touch here, which is text. And you won't know what this text means until the stream on Wednesday. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Yeah, it just goes on his head. Okay, that could be just plain old text, though. It doesn't have to be the, the room font. I think I'm going to go Times New Roman with that. Maybe extend it. Yeah. People might be asking about what the what what this means, but I am I will not be answering any questions about that. I don't want to spoil. Also, that looks too stretched out. Shit. There you go. Telling you guys, look, look out for Wednesday. I, I'm. 
I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm sure some people will, will dislike it, but I... There's some good shit, man. Look forward to Wednesday. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I'm very... Um, I'm so excited! I'm trying to find a good font for this, though. That might be it. I just want something plain for that. Oh, you know I will, baby. Uh, Ennard the boy. Yeah, I'm gonna post this on my Twitter. You know I will, baby. Janice Torres says, Jobby, what does it feel like when you go broke on figures? <laughs> it feels like it feels like shit, but I want to do it all over again. Actually, I'm going to look for uh, room posters to see if I can get the fonts right. Let's see. The room poster. Let's see how their font looks. Like, I got the... I got the uh, main font proper, but what, what did they use for the other ones? Ah, yeah, it's basically this. It's basically this. Actually, be smaller. And the X could be bigger. X doesn't have to be that big, actually. That's fine. Well... I think... I think we got it. Just one more look at it. Maybe.
All right. I think I think I basically got it. But uh Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna discuss this, of course, with my collaborator, but I think we got it. So... Hmm. What do you guys think? Are we doing good? We all doing good here? Thanks for joining me tonight. It is late now, but, you know, it's been three hours, and there's still some of you watching, and I gotta thank you for that, as always. So... Um... All right. <laughs> I can't wait until Wednesday. You know, me and a group of friends, we're going to uh, stay tuned on the main channel where me and a group of friends, we're going to draw more Tommy Wiseau and then we're going to unveil something that uh, me and uh, well, I've been working on. Or we've been working on and we've been just been sitting on it for a while and uh, it's going to be exciting. I keep getting texts. Hold on. <laughs> I just got, I just got a request from an from another another music friend. I will, <laughs> and the answer is yes. If if you're watching right now, man, the answer is yes. I could do it. So, <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, guys. Oh hi, Mark. <laughs> what a stream, Mark. Okay, and let me. Save this. Let me export or you know what? Let me shrink this down as well. But first let me export it. Red dress cover art. PNG. That works. And then let's do let's shrink it. Like 50. Looks even better shrunk. Okay, and uh, we'll do size. Okay. All right. All right, so. I think I know the perfect way to end this stream. Yeah. Oh, give me a second here. Ba Bam. Whew, it's big. It's a big image. Hold on. That is a big image. Don't click off just yet, guys. You're going to want to stay for this. The very end. You're going to want to stay for the very end. Then let me put that behind me. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a little taste of what's to come on Wednesday. Now that we have oop, now that we have some artwork for it, I'm pretty confident that we can uh All right. Just hold on a second and then I'll leave you. All right. Before this happens, let me just say it was a great stream. Thank you for joining me. And uh, thank you for everyone who supported me. <laughs> Big shout out to Moneybags McGee. <laughs> Still a funny name to me. But god damn, he's awesome. All right. And now... I'll see you next time. Everybody needs free. I'm so scared of